Okay, in this video we're going to look at how we can use the cumulative uh, binomial tables in your formula booklet. So you can also use your calculator, but you may want to have a go at using your tables as well. So in this one, it says for x is distributed with a binomial distribution, n is equal to 6, and p, your probability of success, is 0.3. Find probability of x is less than, or less than 5. So uh, the tables give you probability, probability that x is less than or equal to r. So probability x is less than 5 is the same as probability x is less than or equal to 4. So on your tables, you go to the one for uh, n is equal to 6, and you go across to your probability of 0.3, and then you go down uh, to 4, which is 0 0.9, 0 0.9891. Okay, I'm just going to show you where that is in the proper t on the proper tables, uh, what they look like. So here you can see, there's your. This is what you would get in your formula book: a, cumulative, a binomial cumulative distribution function. And here we had n is equal to uh, six. Uh, here we had n is equal to six, and your x, sorry, your probability was point three. It was so. Uh, there we are, point three. And we wanted to go to r is less than 4, so it was 0 0.9891. So there we are from our proper tables. Okay, <coughs> in this one, we want to find that x is equal to 5. So if you want to do x is equal to 5 uh, using your tables, why you would do this using your tables, I don't know. But if you want to do it using your tables, that really is the same as probability that x is less than or equal to 5 minus the probability that x is less than or equal to 4. So you do that and that would be 0 0.9993 minus 0 0.9891 and if you did that out you're going to get 0 0.0102. Right now it gets a wee bit trickier when you've got greater than ones. So greater than 1 is the same as 1 minus everything except 1 minus x is less than or equal to uh, 1. Uh, so in this case, x is less than or equal to 1 is going to be your 0 0.4202. And when you do that out, you're going to get 0 0.5798. Okay, how you could have done these on your calculator? We'll go to the first one. Um, again, you'd have to find probability x is less than or equal to 4. So remember what you've got. Uh, you go to your binomial. Uh, so you, only, you do mode and then go 7. And then you go to your binomial CD. And then you go to variable. And here your x. So for this one, x is equal to 4. Your n is equal to 6 and your probability is equal to 0.3. So we'll just put that in x equals 4, your n equals 6 and your probability is 0.3. Put that all in and press equals and you see you get uh, 0.9890065 so the four sig figs that they've done 0.9891. Okay, same idea for the rest of them. Uh, definitely using your calculator is a better better method, but you can use your formula booklet if it needs to be. Okay, this example says, what is probably that from eight trials, I, score, I, I can score a two on a fair tetrahedral, tetrahedral four-sided dice, and at most uh, three times. So in this one, first of all, just going to say x is distributed binomial, eight trials, and I can score a two on a fair four-sided dice, so my Chance of scoring a 2 is 1 out of 4 or 0.25. Okay, what we need to find then is at most 3 times, at least 6 times, and exactly 5 times. So we're going to look, use the tables to do this and then show how we can do it a lot easier, really using the calculator as well. Okay, so I've just written down what we had again. We had x was equal to x is distributed by binomial 8 and 0.25. And the first one, part A, you wanted to find probably x is less than or equal to 3. So in the table section, you find the bit where n is equal to 8. Then you go across to 0.25, and then go down to 3. And you can see it is uh, 0.8862. Okay, a wee bit trickier. 
for the next one, uh, you've got to find uh, x is greater than or equal to 6. So greater than or equal to 6 is 1, uh, 1 minus uh, 1 minus the probability that x is less than or equal to 5, which is just 1 minus 0.9958, which works out to be 0.0042. Okay, I've done out my part to C to show you you would never do this. Uh, it says to find, you'd never use your tables to this, but uh, it says probability x is equal to 5. You could do it using your tables as x is less than or equal to 5 minus x is less than or equal to 4, and you put those in and you find it. But to do this, really, you would just put this in your calculator using the binomial, not binomial CD, binomial PD, probability distribution. x is equal to 5, n is equal to 8, and the p is equal to 0.25, and you press equals, and this is what you would get. Okay? Right. You're now ready to do... Uh, it's a binomial exercise uh, 6c and also there's an, a binomial exercise 5b as well so we're taking from two different uh, books but that's it we're able to do okay thank you